Hey everybody, um, hopefully you had a good evening activity. So what we're doing now is we have have a nice little campfire built for everybody. We're going to probably listen to a story or two. And then after that we're going to have a snack. And then we'll give you some directions about heading back to the lodge. And getting ready to head to bed so we get a good night's sleep and get ready for tomorrow. So everybody find a nice spot around the campfire. And I am going to get ready to tell you a story. So go find a seat and get ready to listen. Welcome to our evening campfire. This evening I'm going to tell you a story. And the story is about a timid little mouse who was afraid to follow his dreams. Once there was a little mouse. He and his friends loved to spend the evenings listening to the old ones tell stories. His favorite story was the story about the far off lands. So much did he love this tale that he would dream of going to those far off lands every night. One day he said to himself, I simply must see these far off lands. So that very morning, though he was very scared and nervous, he set off on his journey. He would travel almost the entire day and he would stop only at night for food or rest or to drink. He came to the river bank and his heart fell. He was scared. How will I ever get across this river, he said to himself. From behind him, he heard a gravelly voice. Well, don't you know how to swim? He looked and saw a frog standing there among some cattails. Swim? What is that? asked the mouse. The frog jumped into the water and began to kick his legs. Well, this is swimming, the frog said. I, I, I know, but how do you get across the river anyway? Well, I've been dreaming of these far off lands for many nights and I simply must see it, explained the frog. Well, said the mouse. My name is Magic Frog, said the frog, and I'm going to help you. Bend down low and you should jump just as far as you can. The mouse jumped and he felt a strange feeling in his legs. They seemed much stronger than before and he noticed that he had jumped further than he had ever been able to jump before. Well, why, thank you, Magic Frog. That was good medicine that you gave me. Magic Frog said, you know, you will probably experience many, many hardships on your journey. But if you keep hope alive within you, you will reach the far off lands. And now I am going to give you a new name, said the frog. You are now called Jumping Mouse. The frog waved and he hopped back into the cattails. Jumping Mouse with his new found ability jumped across the river. He turned to wave, but Magic Frog was already gone. Now, in the back of his mind, he could hear Magic Frog's words. Keep hope alive in you. Jumping Mouse continued on until nightfall, then dug a hole and went to sleep. The next day, Jumping Mouse had reached a prairie. He was walking along and saw a huge boulder his head. But as he got closer, he realized that's not a boulder, but a large buffalo laying upon the ground. Um, my friend, said Jumping Mouse, why are you lying there like you are dying? I, I am dying, said the buffalo. I drank some poisoned pool of water, and now I have lost my sight. I cannot find the cool waters to drink and the sweet grass to eat. I'm lying here to wait for the end. Jumping Mouse said, I, I am Jumping Mouse, and my friend Magic Frog gave me some magic medicine powers. I am not as strong as her, but I will help you. I name you Eyes of the Mouse. No sooner has he said that than the buffalo stood, looked about, and blinked his eyes in amazement. He snorted with happiness. Jumping Mouse heard this, but he could not see it, for he had given away his eyesight. Why, why thank you, my small friend, said Eyes of the Mouse. This is a wonderful gift you have given me. Now climb on my back and I shall carry you to the edge of the prairie. So Jumping Mouse climbed onto the mighty buffalo's back. And in this way, he reached the edge of the prairie. When they arrived, Eyes of the Mouse said, 
I am a creature of the prairies, so I must stop here, my friend. How will you make it over the mountains if you cannot see? Jumping Mouse said, There will be a way. I have the hope alive within me. So he waved goodbye to Eyes of the Mouse and turned towards the mountain. He walked away, and when night fell, he dug a hole and went to sleep. Jumping Mouse awoke with the sun and felt his way along the mountain path, sniffing for and occasionally nibbling on small grasses. Suddenly, he bumped into something. He felt fur beneath his little paws. He sniffed and realized that he had just stumbled upon a wolf. Hello, I am Jumping Mouse, who are you? Well, I am a wolf, the wolf replied. Jumping Mouse asked, well, why, why are you just sitting here in the middle of the path? The wolf sighed. I was once a very proud creature with a good sense of smell, but because I was too proud, I have had this gift taken away. I have learned to be humble, but now I cannot find and smell the food I need to eat. I will surely die. Jumping Mouse was saddened by Wolf's story. Well, I have just a little medicine left. Please let me help you. I name you Nose of a Mouse. The wolf breathed in. He sniffed the mountain air. He howled with joy and danced in a circle. I can smell the trees and the flowers again. Jumping Mouse heard the wolf's joy, but alas, he could not smell the trees or the flowers. He had given his sense of smell away. This is truly a wonderful gift you have given me, said the nose of a mouse. You must let me repay you. Climb onto my back and I will carry you over the mountains to the far off lands. Jumping Mouse was carried over the mountains and soon his wolf friend knelt down so he could carefully climb down. Little friend, I am a creature of the mountains so I cannot go on. But you, how will you get along not being able to see or to smell? Jumping Mouse said, where there is a way, hope is alive within me. The two said goodbye and nose of a mouse trotted back into the mountains. I am here at last, said Jumping Mouse. I hear the leaves rustle through the trees. The sun warms my body. I feel the wind but I will never be as I was. What am I to do? Jumping Mouse began to cry. Jumping Mouse, he heard a gravelly voice. M Magic Frog, is that you? Yes, my friend, it is Magic Frog. You have suffered greatly on your long journey and experienced many hardships, but it was your unselfish heart and your generosity that helped bring you here. You have nothing to fear, my little friend. Next, Magic Frog said, Jump. Jump high, Jumping Mouse. Jump high. Jumping Mouse leapt straight up, and he felt himself changing. His paws stretched out and became very powerful. He moved them up and down, and soon he was feeling the wind streaming over him and under him. He looked down he could see the mountains far below. He breathed in. He could smell the pines and the earth. From far below, he heard Magic Frog calling. Jumping Mouse, I give you a new name. You are now called Eagle, and you will live in the far off lands forever. That's the story of Jumping Mouse. And I guess the moral or the theme of this is that if you have hope and you help others, that you can follow your dreams and you can do and become like an eagle. You can soar and become whatever you want to be. Hopefully you enjoyed this story, this Native American tale of Jumping Mouse, a tale of hope, a tale of kindness, and you enjoyed our campfire this evening. We're going to follow it up with a snack, and then we are going to get ready to head to bed 
Hopefully you guys had a great day, had a fun day. You enjoyed all the different lessons and all the different experiences that you've had so far at camp. Don't worry, we got a whole other day to go. So you need to make sure that after you have your snack, you head back. Some of you are gonna shower or some of you are gonna get ready for bed and you listen to your counselors, you listen to the parents and that you get a good night's sleep because some of you are gonna be getting up early and going fishing at six o'clock. Others of you will be getting up close to seven, breakfast is at eight, and then by 10 o'clock, we start off on our next set of classes. So everyone needs to make sure that you get a good night's rest. All right, so let's get ready for snack.